Hey everybody, it's me Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple with our next YouTube mini class. We are on YouTube number 119 and I have got some wonderful product to show you. Some of it's going to be similar to what you've already seen, but we have manufacturers who have added to their collection of beautiful products and I need to show you how fabulous they are. And then we're going to be doing a review on a pin just so you remember how to use it because we've gotten a lot of emails lately about okay I got them but now what do I do with them I forgot so we're gonna talk about that but first <laughs> I have to tell you I have so many samples to show you that's how I know the SMS girls really really like the product I must have like 30 different samples to show you everybody wanted to make them <laughs> so I know you're really gonna enjoy it but first, I am still in Mr. SMS's office. I'm not sure when I'm moving out. He actually had to make room for me today because we're starting to get ready for National Scrapbooking Day. And that is on May 2nd, and this is 2015. So if you're watching this after May 2nd, 2015, I'm sorry, National Scrapbooking Day is over for the year. But next week, I will start doing our countdown. Uh, showing you all the product that we're going to have for sale. We have Lawn Fawn coming into the store for uh, an exclusive make and take. We have Sizzix coming into the store. They'll be here at the exact same time doing an exclusive make and take. We have great door busters and free gifts for everybody. And again, starting Monday, I will start the countdown. Our store will open at 9 a.m. Saturday morning, May 2nd. And I think you're just going to love all the goodies. But that's May 2nd and that's for next week. We have winner winner chicken dinner to talk about. And like I was saying, I'm still here in Mr. SMS's office and eventually I'm sure I'll find a home. But I thought I'd show you a little more of his office since really all you see is the white wall. There's his computer and his printer. The Diet Pepsi's mine. <laughs> but there's his stuff, stuff he's working on. <laughs> he's got a San Francisco Giants t-shirt over there that came in from Uline because we get it for free when we order over $300. I have to pick a free gift and I always get either a hat, a baseball hat, or a jersey or something for the boys. But anyway, I have got winner winner chicken dinner to talk about and that's on the last YouTube we did which was using the Aqua Pins by Spectrum Noir and the beautiful watercolor stamps by Art Impressions. So are you ready to hear if you're a winner, winner, chicken dinner? I'm excited to tell you. Oh, I'm looking at the samples over here that Mary Lynn did. The pages are just beautiful. I can't believe how many samples the girls did. Anyway, let's talk about winner, winner, chicken dinner. If you are, are you ready? Drum roll. If you are, oh, this is interesting. Country Twinkle. <laughs> if you're Country Twinkle, congratulations. You are a winner, winner, chicken dinner. And if you are... Webster, Madani, Madani, Madani. If you are Webster's Madani, congratulations, you're a winner, winner, chicken dinner too. Each of you have won a wonderful prize package filled with some Spectrum Aqua pens and a stamp and some water paper, watercolor paper for you to start with. So all you have to do is email us at asksms at earthlink.net. Say, I am a winner, winner, chicken dinner from YouTube number 119 and Sarah will get your prizes out to you as soon as possible. Now next week when we do the National Scrapbooking Day, all we're gonna do is give away gift certificates to be spent on National Scrapbooking Day. So every day I do my post, you'll have an opportunity to win both on Facebook and YouTube a gift certificate to Scrapbooking Made Simple to either shop online or in store on National Scrapbook Day. Woohoo! <laughs> Can't go wrong with that, right? We thought we'd just make it easy peasy and let you shop for what you want. And let me tell you, some of the Dora to Buster deals are just amazing. All right, so we've talked about winner, winner, chicken dinner. I think we might be ready to get started. If you are anywhere in California, tomorrow is our free make and take featuring Tonic Studio dies. And we are the only store in the United States to have the dies that we're featuring there beautiful cameo dies with actual cameos. They're absolutely gorgeous. So if you're a local, come on and see us tomorrow, which is Saturday. If you are not local, look for a YouTube in the next few weeks and I'll get that out for you because you're going to just love it. All right, where to start? Well, let's, let's just put this here and let's go ahead and tilt on down and let me show you what we've got for you today. Are you ready? Down we go. Bye. <laughs> okay. Oh, somebody's 
Somebody's not happy outside. I hear a little baby crying. Hmm. All right. How yummy is this? Isn't that a beautiful card? Now, this is one of the 3D cards, one of the die cut cards by Hot Off The Press, and they have a whole new collection of cards out. They're just gorgeous. And then we decorated it with the decoupage by Anita's, which is a do crafts line. Oh my gosh, the new decoupage that has come out is simply beautiful. Before I get started on doing this, I want to talk to you first about Wink of Stella pins. These are Wink of Stella pins. You may have seen them in your local craft store. You may already own them and you haven't opened them yet. You may have opened them and said, holy smokes, how do I do this? I want to remind you what these pins are and what they do. There's about 15 or 16 colors, I think. They are a shimmer pin. That's what they are, a shimmer pin. And so it has ink in here, but this ink has a glittery goodness that's just beautiful. When you open them, they look a little unusual. Look a little bit unusual, and then you undo it, and you're like, but there's nothing there. How do I use these? I'm going to tell you, it's really simple, but what most people end up doing is squeezing too hard and letting the ink drip out. And once your ink is dripped out, you can't get it back. So when you open your Wink of Stella pins, if you already have them, and if you don't have them, trust me, you're going to want them. And if you only want one, you're going to want the clear because the clear just adds this soft shimmer across everything without actually changing the color of the paper or whatever you're using it on. This one happens to be brown. Now when you open it, you can see there's no ink there. There's nothing there. It's a dry nib. That's because this product, which is a Zig product, a Kurataki product, they keep all the ink here in the well and they keep it sealed until you're ready to use it. That way this ink is not drying out. It's completely sealed. How do you unseal it to get the ink out? Well, that's where this little black piece right here comes into play. We're gonna unscrew the pin and we're going to take that black piece out and you're going to throw it away. We've had people say that they've tried to put it back on after the fact. That's not what you wanna do. You just wanna throw this little back, black piece away. Just let it go. Then what you've got is this right here, and I don't know if you can see, but in there is a little dot, a little white dot, and that is going to get punctured with a little tip that's in here. And when that punctures it, that's when the ink is going to get released. So you're going to screw these together after you've taken that black ring off, screw them together, and your pin is now ready to be used. But how do you get the ink from the well into the tip? How do we do that? There are two words. You can barely see them, but you can feel them on either side and they say push. This again, now some people have done that and then they've taken this off and then they want to put this piece back on and put this piece back on for storage. No, I don't want you to do that. This pin is a gravity feed, so once you seal it, once you've screwed this piece back on with the black gone, you don't want to open it again. You want to keep it as tight as possible so that ink does not dry out. Now again, you've got push on two sides, and this is where some people get into trouble because they want to push so many times because they think they need to fill this entire area with ink. This pin works off of gravity feed. So I'm gonna push one, two, and I'm gonna start looking around. Can you see there's a little brown there? There's a little brown there. Maybe I give it one more push. And then I have to wait. And I know waiting can be hard, but you have to be patient. You have to let that ink draw down into your tip. You don't need to fill the entire ink well. That's not what you're trying to do. You're trying to just move it down and gravity feed. Oh, see, it's already starting to fill. Can you see that? If I keep pushing, what's going to happen is oh, I will push so hard or so many times that my ink will drip right on out and I will have lost that ink. See how my well, it's still not filled. You're not trying to get ink every place in there. Just enough so that it starts pulling down. And once you've done that, let's grab a piece of 
paper. Once you've done that, it's ready to use. We're going to get that going. Let that gravity feed on down. And the more I work with it, now it's ready to go. Okay, that's how you use these pins. It's important that you don't keep pressing. Let the gravity do its thing. Let, that, let it just flow on down nicely. The only time you should ever have to push is when you haven't used the pin for a while. You are going to store these pins tip up so you see the color of the pin facing uh, up. On the back side has um, some writing. If that's all you see and you don't see the color of the pin face up, you're storing it wrong. It must be face up. And the reason being, again, gravity feed. You don't want all that ink continually feeding down when you're not using it. And then the pins are ready to go. And again, they just offer this beautiful shimmer. I don't know if you can see. Beautiful, beautiful shimmer. It's not an overwhelming bling. It's a pretty subtle, just a hint of shine and shimmer. It's not glossy, but it's got a little bit of sparkle to it where it's not in your face but you see it, and I like that kind of shimmer. I like that kind of bling where it's there, but it's very, very subtle. So when you use these pens, again, you take it out. Ah, this one sealed really good. <laughs> take it out. This one happens to be clear. Take it out. Open it up, take the black off, and never, never, never put it back together again. Then you're going to cinch it on down and then pull and start to press. And a couple of presses, two or three, maybe four presses, so you can see the clear going in there. You can see clear on this side. And, and then I would leave it just to hold on to it for a minute or two. If you need to press again, that's okay. But you really are trying to avoid pressing so much. And people do this all the time. That, oh, see, it's dripped. I pressed so much that I have dripped it out of my pen. And once that happens, you can't get that ink back. You can't sop it back up. It's just kind of wasted, and that's sad. So be gentle when you're pushing and give it time. Give the pin a little bit of time to work and you'll find that you'll be much happier. And look at, this is the clear. That sheen is just beautiful, just beautiful. And I'm gonna be working with the clear a little bit later on. So those are Wink of Stella and they're made by Kurataki. They're a Zig product, they're a beautiful product. Just give it a little bit of patience and you'll be so, so happy with them. Now, the next thing I'm gonna show you is the decoupage sheets from Anita's. And Anita's is a brand by Do Crafts and we love them. This is a beautiful sheet of decoupage. When I say decoupage, I mean paper layering. Not the decoupage you do when you were a kid or if you have kids and you blow up a balloon and you, you take tissue paper and you mod podge all over it, let it dry and pop the balloon and you've got a basket. We're not talking about that type of decoupage. We're talking about the European type of decoupage where it's paper layering. Now in the olden days, as they say, as my boys say, in the olden days, you would have to fussy cut each one of these out, each one of these little pieces out, and then layer it on top of each other. But thankfully, <laughs> we've come a long way since then, baby. <laughs> and they're now die cut and ready for you to just pop right on out so you don't have to fussy cut anymore. The thing with decoupage is that for the most part, everything is numbered for you. A1, uh, where's A2, A2, can you see the little numbers, A3, A4, A5? They've made it so simple for you, 
to layer everything in the proper order. So I'm gonna punch out one. And that's my main piece. That's kind of like my base piece. Now I have to give it up to do crafts because with a lot of decoupage, sometimes you get, when you've popped it out, you get little white pieces, little white nubs where the connection piece is. And with do crafts, that doesn't happen. It comes out beautifully clean with no little white pieces of where it's connected to the paper. I want to tell you, if you have decoupage and that happens and you have just a little bit of white, all you need to do is take your sand it gadget or an emery board or whatever you've got that's handy that doesn't have a really heavy grit and you just sand that little white nib off and it's gone. Don't try and take scissors and cut it. Just take it a little bit and, white and get it off with your emery board or your sand it gadget. And again, that's for decoupage out there that when you pop it out, it leaves a little bit of where the connecting piece was. Do Crafts makes beautiful decoupage and you're not gonna find that with this. It's just gorgeous. So here's my one. The next thing I'm gonna do is simple. I'm gonna look for number two. Here's my two. I'm gonna pop it out. There's my second piece. My two is going to layer perfectly on top of my one but we don't want it flat because that defeats the purpose. What we're trying to do is get to a 3D, a three-dimensional embellishment. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> Couldn't you see that on a scrapbook page or a card? And it's all dimensional. It's been popped up and... So to do that, we need itty bitty, teeny tiny little pop dots. And normally we use candy fix-it dots and they're wonderful. Okay, but then I found these and these are wonderful too. Let me show you. These are 3D foam dots and they're meant for decoupage. They're itty bitty tiny. I have to tell you, there's like 900 of them on a sheet, 900 squares. They're $1.50. That is a smoking hot price. Oh my gosh, you could, you could use lots of pop dots if you want to pop it up in place. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna grab mine, of course. What did I do with mine? Oh, I'm gonna, well, I guess I'm gonna open this one. And oh, it's right here in front of me. My goodness gracious, Stacy, I have to tell you, <laughs> it's five o'clock California time. <laughs> I was supposed to start this YouTube, oh, about eight hours ago. <laughs> but Gary came in from Tonic Studios bringing me all the dyes we need for tomorrow. And after Gary came in, then we had another manufacturer come in to talk about what's gonna happen in June, which I can't tell you about, but they were here today talking to me about June. And then we had National Scrapbooking Day stuff going on to get ready for, and I had another manufacturer, I had a conference call with somebody else, and before I knew it, the day was over. Oh my gosh, I know my makeup's probably half gone and my hair's not nearly as poofy as it was, but <laughs> that's okay. Aquanet can only hold on for so long. And yes, I really do use Aquanet. <laughs> okay, so I've got my foam dots right here, and I'm just gonna pop them right off, put them where I want, and because they're so inexpensive, you really can use as many make you happy. I mean, you don't have to be sparing with these. You can absolutely put quite a few on. Now, in my die, my die cut here, you can see that they've, there's a few perforations there. That means that I need to pop those little pieces out. Just need to pop those right on out. And they do, they pop out right, right and easy. And what that's gonna do is add a little more dimension to our decoupage. And these are foil decoupage, so Ducrafts has added a beautiful foil accent to them. So I've just popped out the little pieces that they told me to on the back. Oh, one more. Then I'm gonna pull off the little tops to my foam dots. If you wanna use tweezers to get them off, you can. If you wanna use your fingernails, you can. Sometimes that's easier and faster than the tweezers, up to you. And then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna layer it right on top, exactly where it fits beautifully, right on top of my number one. And I have started my first layer 
of decoupage. Then I'm going to look and I'm going to see what is A3. A3 is right here. I just finished A2, so I'm going to move on to the third piece. Now most of the decoupage that uh, Do Crafts does with the Anita's line gives you two cards. Two cards in one set of $1.50 decoupage. So the set I'm doing here is one card. Here's another whole set of decoupage. Now you could use it as a card. You could use it for a card. You could use it for your scrapbook pages. You could use it for altered art. You could use it for mixed media. You could make a cute little tag to hang on a gift bag and put somebody's name right there. I mean, they really give you lots of options and at the price you can't complain. Now, this one has no little pieces for me to pop off. So all I'm gonna do is take a few more of my glue dots or my pop dots, put them strategically where I want them. I'm not gonna do too many. Pull them off. And again, you can use your tweezers if that's helpful to get your little tops off. And line it up again. So now I've got my base and my first layer. Now I'm going to line this right up over the top. And now I've got my next layer of decoupage. Remember Jolie's? I know Jolie's are still around, but they've always had that three-dimensional feel to them. That's what you're getting with these, only at a price that's absolutely unbelievable. So here's my A4. Now my A4 takes up, or should I do my, yeah, my A4. My A4 is this one, this one, and this one. So all three of those are A4. So I'm going to pop those out, only this time, instead of putting it down right away, I'm going to take one of my glitter pins and I think I'm going to use my clear. I'm going to take one of my glitter pins, give it a little shake, get a scratch piece of paper. Make sure that it is coming out. If you need to give it a little push to help, you can give it a little push because it's been sitting. Let the gravity do its feed. And then I'm going to go over what I want to shimmer. I want some of these flowers to shimmer, but I don't want to take the white away. I don't want to cover up the flower with ink. I just want it to shimmer. And I don't want it to be like a stickles glitter where, where it's really glittery. I just want it to shimmer. That way when you move it, you get a little bit of a twinkle, but not so much in your face. And I'm literally gonna just color right over. I'm not being neat, I'm not being perfect, I'm literally just going right in there and coloring right over. And what I get when I'm done, and I don't know if you can see it, but there's a sheen to it. There's a beautiful little shimmer to this side. And there's nothing to that side. So when somebody is looking at the card, this just, mm, it's just yummy. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to add a little bit over here and I'm just doing the white part. I don't want all the flowers to have a shimmer so the ones that do really pop. It dries fairly quickly so you don't have to sit there and wait but now I've got a beautiful sheen on both sides. Then I'm going to put it on top. Now I'm, I have other pieces that are going to layer on top of this one. Let's add just a few little glue dots just so I can get it on there for you. Or pop dots, I guess they're not glue dots, pop dots. And I love that there's 900 for a buck 50. That is a value and a half. I love our candy fix dots, but those are only 440 for a dollar 99 and these do just as well. So, We'll still carry our candies, but we're going to add these to the mix too because they're wonderful. And I'm going to layer right on top again. 
It's just going to sit right on top. Now I'm not done layering. I've got more pieces to go. I've got two more in A4 and then A5. And I could just keep adding those pieces. But I'm going to jump right now to the A5s, which is the, oh, it looks like we even have A6s, which are the last pieces. I popped it right out. I'm going to stick a glued or a pop dot right on the bottom, pull it off. Now let's see, where does it go? Right there. So even though I shimmered here on one that I'm covering up, I also have already shimmered on this piece here. Once you start getting closer to almost done, I recommend shimmering each and every piece. That way, if for some reason you're off a little bit, you don't have to worry. and you just keep building. They're very simple to do. Really, really easy and fast. And this is an awesome craft for kids and for seniors because there is no cutting at all. It's just popping them out and taping them or, or pop dotting them down. It's that simple. And then if you wanted to, you could take the your, your shimmer and I could go and I could shimmer in my little doilies if I wanted because it just adds a little bit of shimmer to that. They're so pretty. Now, like I said, each one of them gives you on average two different decoupage scenes so that you could make two cards or two gift bags or two layouts. And then they usually give you a tag or a little something something to go with it but an exceptional value for what you get. It just is so simple. We love them. And these are all brand new. We have the very, very latest from Ducrafts. I don't know that anybody else, some of them are so, so, so new. They come in directly from the UK and we get them before anybody else in the country. And I love them. So that's the decoupage. I want to show you some samples well, you know what? Yeah, I'll show you some samples with just the decoupage. Let's do that. So here is the bear. Again, three-dimensional. So cute. The flowers. And you can see we just backed it on basic paper. That's all we used was basic paper. And, and we'll have it on sale. I'll put the paper on sale, the paper packs, because that's all you need. The decoupage does it all by itself. You want to keep it simple. Look at how pretty. Again, just basic paper. And we ran some, some lines down at some uh, borders from peel off borders. So we've got those. We've got the best wishes. Happy birthday. And again, all we did was take a die and cut the plain paper, a plain cardstock with the die border, and then mounted it on the card. And you can see all the layers. And again, for crafting, this is easy. This is a great place if you've never crafted before and you want to try making cards or you want to try making layouts, this is a great place to start because it really does uh, give you the availability to get do something quick. You don't have a whole lot of time. You're just starting out. You want to see if you like it. You don't want to spend a whole lot of money, but you want something that's going to turn out beautiful every time. And everybody can do this. This was the make and take that we did. All the little pieces got popped up. Let me tell you, the girls who were here for the make and take love, love, love the make and take. And I wouldn't put out all the... We, we got in a lot of decoupage, a lot of different decoupage sheets, and I only put out for sale to the customers who came in store about half of them because we just frankly didn't have time to get everything else out. So you guys are going to be the first to see some of the brand new ones that they haven't seen yet. Okay, next I want to show you some of the new product from Hot Off the Press. 
and we used it in conjunction with the decoupage and they turned out beautiful. Hot Off the Press has fabulous die cut cards. They're already folded, scored, they come with the envelopes, they're ready to go. And I'm taking it out of the package because I want you to see what, what I see when you take it out. First off, you're going to get the five cards and you can either do them, you can do them this way or you can do it this way, it's up to you. But we used to end up cutting and scoring and folding to get a card like this. Or you would buy one of the more expensive dies to get a card like this. But maybe you don't want a lot of cards this like this. Maybe you just want to do 10, you know, you want to have them available, but you don't necessarily want to invest in a $30 die. This is an awesome way to be able to do that. And again, they come with the envelopes. More importantly, they come with the template to tell you how to cut the paper. This is key and it is on the opposite side of the packaging. So you don't want to throw this away because this is key. And I recommend that you cut it out and that you then uh, either laminate it or you want to save it. Yes, it's in each and every package, but gosh, if you just had one, that would be nice. One that you were sure you kept and you didn't lose. You're going to cut it on out and you're going to use it as your template every time you do one of these cards in this style. And every package that they have, every single die cut card or box, because oh my gosh, wait till you see the box. We can't find the box sample. We think it might have walked away, but I'll show you at least the box package. I'm just going to cut it on out. And then you would trace it right onto your paper. So I've got it cut out. And then I would take my paper, grab a pencil, let's see if I've got a pencil, I've got a pen. And you would just trace it right on out. That's kind of hard to see. Let me see if on the blue it's better. In fact, I would use my edge since it's already cut for you and I would just trace and then cut out and it's ready to be taped down to your card base. It's that simple. They even do almost like a, a pattern code. So you can tell which piece goes where on the card. It has the dotted piece versus the striped piece. So you know which piece goes where on the card. They've made it so simple for you and the best, best thing for all five cards and all five envelopes, it's $3.99. I mean, to sit there and cut and score and fold for $3.99, it's, it's just not worth it. Just buy them pre-made and I think you'll be so much happier. Now, if you love, love, love doing this type of a card and you want to buy the die, we certainly understand and there are some great dies out there. Stephanie Bernard has some that does this. There's fabulous Sizzix dies out there. But for those of you who may not have a die cutting machine or don't necessarily want to invest that much into a die, this is an awesome solution for you. And they make so many new styles. I do, I wanna show you the box. I just feel bad that I don't have the sample for you. Here's the box. This was crazy popular last year. I can't tell you how many times at Crop, people were coming in and they were hand cutting and scoring and folding to be able to make this pop-up box. You don't have to anymore. Now they give you everything you need to make the box. Everything you need. And then all you do is tape together and it makes 
the pop-up boxes that you see. Now, when you're done making your pop-up box, it comes with the inserts, it comes with the acetate to put your little pieces that float up. It's so cute. And when you're done doing it and you wanna mail it, it folds flat so it can be mailed. And yes, <laughs> it too comes with an envelope so that you can put it in and mail it. Yes, it's a square envelope, so it's gonna cost you a little bit more in postage, but that's okay when they open it and they open it up and everything pops right on out. It's just absolutely magic. It's just fabulous. You're going to love it. So these fold in and make your bottom. So, so cute. And then your back, it's just darling. You, it's, oh no, these are your flaps. Those are your flaps. There's your bottom right there. So cute. The pop-up box is darling. And this was really crazy popular um, in crops on YouTube. Everybody was making it. And Hot Off the Press has made it simple for you. They've given you everything you need without having to cut, without having to score, without having to measure. You just pull it out and decorate. And again, on the same, they give you a template and they even give you, oh, they give you all your instructions and here's your template for your squares so that you're sure your squares are the same each and every time. You can't go wrong. I love the box. And again, I'm really sorry that the sample isn't here. I'm not sure where the sample went. But they have a lot of new. So between the decoupage and the cards from Hot Off the Press, both companies have expanded their line. I mean, look at how cute is this one. And again, see, it's got the foil to it. They put foil on everything. Look at this one. This would make the most darling um, embellishment on a scrapbook page. Look at how cute that is. And then you just pop out the pieces and layer them right on top. Pop out the little pieces, add your little foam dotties to the back, layer, and move on. Cutest little embellishments for a cute scrapbook page. They don't always have to be for cards. You can think outside the box a little bit and see how some of these card making tools can work in layouts, especially for the price. Okay, I want to show you some of the samples we did with the decoupage and the hot off the press cards. Are you ready? The girls had so much fun with this. I showed you this one already, and you can see from the side. Who wouldn't love to get this in the mail? Just beautiful. Look at this one. Again, easy. It also could have gone this way. This is the one that I pulled out and showed you. So, this became this. There it is this way here. Same, this is the base. This is after you've taken it and just used some paper and the decoupage and made it stunning. Here's one of their flip cards. And then you open. Put your little sentiment on there. No more scoring, cutting, it's just done for you. Beautiful, isn't it? And again, you can see the decoupage layering. Just beautiful. The girls had a great time. But then, let's say you don't want to do decoupage. Let's say you just want to try and make some of the cards that they did, uh, the hot off the press die cut cards. They've got the new stars. How cute is that? And then when you want to send it, everything just folds right on up and is ready to go in your envelope. Who wouldn't love to get that for graduation? It's a, just a cute card. Everybody loved it and then we didn't have the paper. <laughs> it was like, oops. 
But how fun is that? So that's the star. And then we have the gatefold all cut, ready to go, just decorated with some beautiful paper. This happens to be authentic. Beautiful paper. And for those of you who bought the Kaiser Craft Bundle, does that flourish look familiar? Look familiar? Look at that. Cut the flourish, put it on, and then used an X-Acto blade to just trim it between the different layers of the card. And it's done out of the Elizabeth Crafts Velvet. Look familiar? Wonderful, isn't it? And then the same card, only done in the different direction. Pretty, isn't it? And you open it up and there it is. It's a gorgeous little card, all done for you. All by hot off the press. This is an easy peasy craft that can be done by anybody. If you can follow the A's and the B's and the C's and the ones and the twos and the threes, you can do this and be successful at it. And by just adding a little bit of the Wink of Stella Shimmer Glimmer, and I wanna show you some of the colors. Let's see if I can, let's grab. So there's the brown. There's the red. It almost looks like it has crushed glass in it. Oh, that's a hot pink. This is the red. That was hot pink. This is red. This is blue. And oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Just to give you an idea of some of the other colors. And I don't know if the camera can catch it or not, but if you can see that shimmer, you can see that shimmer there with the clear that I dribbled all over, but really pretty. And again, I want to say there's like maybe 16 colors. There's a couple different greens. And we've used them a lot, but people were really having a hard time understanding how to open them up and how to get them to work and how to store them. And remember, you need to store them with that color facing up. You need to see what color it is. If you can't tell what color it is, you're storing them incorrectly. Look at that green. And what's really nice is that if you have something that you're working on, and let's say I'm working on something green, as opposed to taking the clear, I might just take the green and add a little bit to the green that I'm working with. And just add a little bit here and a little bit there. It doesn't have to be everywhere. It just has to be so that when you move the card, a little bit of, a little bit of that bling comes through just kind of grabs your attention and says, ooh, look at me. <laughs> of course, Mary Lynn, she would, she would shimmer everything. <laughs> so what do you bet? They like bling. They're big girls, big bling girls. Now, let me show you. I want to show you the, um, the uh, layouts that Mary Lynn did, showing you how to use the decoupage. So we've got the layout. There's the decoupage. It's made its own embellishment for her beautiful layout. So cute, so pretty, and so easy. So when you're looking at product, kind of think about it, how you could utilize it and what you do, because we do have a lot of people who scrapbook and don't card make, and they do say, well, I see how you could use it making cards, but how can I use it in my scrapbooking? Well, that's a beautiful embellishment. And you would have gotten two of them for $1.50. And I guarantee you, if that was a Jolie embellishment, it would be a little bit more than $1.50, and you would have only gotten the one. <laughs> and then look at this cute baby one with grandma and mommy. Same thing. You have the decoupage up here because you can see how it's three-dimensional. But it's not too fat that it won't fit into your scrapbook. It's got the little card that came with it. And then... The picture. How sweet is that? They're just 
wonderful. This is a great way to try something you're not sure you're gonna like at a price that almost everybody can afford. And then with the 900 foam dots, my gosh, you can share them with a friend. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna show you also some of the kits. Here's some of the bases or the die cut cards from Hot Off The Press. We've got the center step, and I think we've had the center step before. I think that looks one that's been around for a little bit. Uh, but here is the, uh, the pop-up or the pull-up, and it's just beautiful. We have got, this one's very similar to the star, only this one has three different size labels as opposed to three different size stars. Again, all $3.99, all of them. Here's that flip card. Only you don't have to buy the die to do it anymore and you don't have to cut and score and fold. Here's the star. This is the one we did the graduation out of. This one was crazy popular. We sold out really fast, the hearts. And again, when you're done with it, it all lays flat and it comes with envelopes and you put it in the envelope and send it off to whomever you want. And then the gate fold. So there's that one, which is this card. It was done with this base. And then we have a little box or a little bag. This is what we used for our make and take. And we did it like this. It comes with, I believe, Four, four bags, you get four individual bags and eight tags. So we put it together and we stamped and we used embossing powder and it says when life hands you lemons, make lemonade. And then we had put inside, because there's little pouches in here, we had put little lemonade packets because this is just such a stinking cute gift. <laughs> but there's more than one way to use it. This is with the dye tape to the outside. You can also use it as a gift card holder where the tag is on the outside here, into the pocket, the pocket's on the outside as opposed to being on the inside. You just put your little gift card right there and there's your gift. How cute is that? And again, $3.99, you do, you get four cards, eight tags and four envelopes. Think about how cute these would be at a, at a shower, at a little party with a cute little, um, a little bag of something in there or a little thank you gift or the little picture attached um, of the baby. Well, you'd have to have the baby shower after the baby, I suppose. <laughs> but okay, <laughs> that happens, that happened to me. <laughs> my first son was four weeks early. My baby shower was supposed to be on a Saturday. I went into labor uh, Friday morning at like two o'clock in the morning and I had James at 7.30 Friday night. We had to call everybody. I mean, and it was it was the first first baby for me. And I mean, we had people coming from Northern California and everywhere. We had to cancel everything. So um, so this would have worked for me because we had our baby shower. It was actually a come meet James party. <laughs> and that would have been perfect. I could have had a little picture of him right there. <laughs> yeah, four weeks early. Surprise! <laughs> I got up and said, honey, I think my water broke. It's either that or I wet the bed. <laughs> and I wasn't actually sure which at that moment. <laughs> we also have the Wink of uh, the Wink of Stella pins. These will all be on a YouTube yummy. The bags, the, the cards from Hot Off the Press, the little box cards, the Wink of Stella's will all be on a YouTube yummy. The foam pads will be on a YouTube yummy. And then all of them, I can't even show all of these. There's just so many of them. All the beautiful decoupage that we have. And like I said, there's just, there's just so many of them. I can't even begin to start showing you all of them. Everything from the cute couture with the pretty little dresses. Wouldn't that be cute for a tea party? Oh my gosh. Just darling. The bears. The bears are so cute. The floral is beautiful and again you get enough to do at least two cards or two embellishments we have somewhere in here i can't let's see if i can hold them this way somewhere in here we have bunnies look at isn't that pretty 
We have birdies. We have kitty cats. Look at the kitty cats. All of them $1.50. All of them are going to be on sale. All of them coming out of the United Kingdom from Do Crafts. Okay. I think that's it. I'm going to show this one one more time because it became, it was so pretty. And this was the make and take that we did in the store. Easy to do. I think that if you try it, you'll find you can be very successful, very fast, and feel accomplished in crafting. You, you know, sometimes it looks like it might be overwhelming when actually something like this just makes you feel good about giving a handmade card or a handmade uh, tag on a bag to somebody. And you can say, yeah, I did that. I think that's awesome. All right, I'm gonna tilt up. I'm gonna say, this was a short YouTube, huh? <laughs> Woohoo, because next week I am, videoing every day for the countdown national scrapbooking day do not forget to leave your comment on this youtube you can comment from anything of i just love decoupage or i have never seen this before or thanks for explaining how to open up the wink Estella pins just something nice and next youtube you may find yourself a lucky winner of some of this great product so i will see you soon uh, probably in about four days, three days <laughs> when we start bringing our National Scrapbooking Day products to you. All right, you guys, it's me, Stacy. Have a great weekend. Bye.